Well, this week, I'm kind of playing with the uh, Texas theme, trying to make Texas-shaped bowls. I made that one in the last video, had a uh, one-ring bowl. Basically, it's a tray, but it turned out okay very nicely, and I learned a couple of things there. Uh, this was another idea I had. This is probably come out looking very strange, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Don't know that I'll ever do it again, but... Uh, I'm going to put as big a bowl within the state of Texas as I can and still stay symmetrical with the bowl. So I'm making an oval bowl. I had to work to get those all. I have a little, had a little quarter inch square in, in the inkscape I used to space all that out and make sure it was lined out properly. So I'm going to cut. I got my entry holes already drilled and we'll cut it at a 19 degree angle. And then this bowl should stack and fit underneath this outline of the state of Texas. But first I'm gonna cut the outline and then I'm gonna go in and cut these. So let me get started on setting up a new blade and I'll start out cutting level. I'm just gonna cut the edge of this level. <laughs> got that outline cut. I tried to smooth it off everywhere uh, that I could. Well, probably out here where El Paso is, I'll sand that tip off a little bit. But I liked it a little rounded. That's going to be sticking out. And uh, so now I'm going to just start cutting the, this bowl just like I normally would. I considered starting in the center, uh, but I believe this is going to be big enough because it's going to get smaller as you go, but I believe it's going to be big enough to handle when I get there. So I'm going to work it normally from the outside in. then there it is cut out it's stacked together it's just dry stacked no glue in no having to remove the patterns but it's a perfect example of just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do it it's a very strange little thing it's a bowl with a, uh, kind of a strange shaped bowl and makes Texas look like it's got a hole in the middle of it but uh, it matches up really nicely the angle worked well it's just construction pine, so if I mess it up, it's not a big loss for material. It's, it's, the board's been laying in my way here for a year and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and match the rings up and glue them together and sand everything out and uh, see how I can finish it up to make it look like it's uh, something besides a weird thing. So let me get to work on it and uh, have to remove the patterns get the rings sanded so they match, and then I'll glue them together and start constructing a little bowl out of it. I got the inside matched up real nicely. Use the uh, inflatable ball sander on the top ring. It fit real well in this end here. And cleaned it all up real, real well for me. So now I'm gonna glue the base on and uh, 
match the ends the outside up before I glue it to the bottom of the uh, state outline. So now I got a lot of matching up there. I had to get some drill marks out of it. I got to smooth all that out. But we'll get this glued on next. Okay, so I got the uh, bowl itself sanded real nice inside and out. Everything's matching up. Got all the scratches sanded off. I'm going to glue this top on. It probably would have been better if I'd have stopped at two rings or maybe even one. But it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I'm not real happy with it. It's kind of an odd little thing. Uh, but this is all experiments. You know, I was just thinking about different things and trying them. And they don't always work out the way you want to. Sometimes you get nice surprises. But anyway, I'm going to glue this together and then I'll make sure I get this ring mashed up inside with a little bit of sanding. And then, or if I'll stain it or what I'll do, I may just seal it. Uh, don't really want to do a lot of work on it because it's not a great little piece. But anyway, let me take the next step and we'll go from there. So as I was saying, uh, this would probably could look better. I wonder what it would look like if I had two rings and a base, or one ring and a base on this same. This is three rings and a base, and it's kind of out of proportion to me. It's not really a great looking bow. It is a bow. It has the state of Texas as the top ring, but uh, it's a little. A little unstable. I don't really like the way it looks. It's kind of almost shocking looking, like a big hole and something telescoping out there. Uh, so uh, I got to wondering what I take the same pattern and leave, just cut one ring. Well, this is what it would look like with one ring. Although I've cut two, I stack the base back inside of the ring to see what that looked like. And then if you take the base out and put it in and add the next ring, this is what you get. And uh, I think I like both of those much better. I'm going to go ahead and finish one up, this one up as, as a two ring because that's what I cut. If I wanted to do a single ring, I'd you know, have to go back and cut another one. But I think this is it looks more proportional. It's still a bowl with a ring, top ring is the state of Texas. And it's hard to put it in there where it fits and, and be centered or anything. But Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna sand this one up and uh, glue it together, and uh, be another example of this same same idea of making a bowl out of the state of Texas. Uh, although, I like the very first one I made with the single ring uh, cut and stacked on top of the and the, and the bottom the rest of the the cutout being the base, that was a video before this one. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to finish this one up, sand it up, and uh, have them side by side here to finish this video off. Okay, so there's the two ring bow. Actually, it comes out three rings. You count the, the top, the Texas. That's normally waste that you throw away. So I only cut two rings outside of that. But that still counts as a ring. Uh, and that's versus this one which to me is kind of weird looking. Well, this one's a little better. It's still kind of weird looking. Uh, but I, maybe as far as I go down this avenue, I could cut it down to one ring. Uh, I think it would make a fairly decent looking little bow. I'm not sure I'm going to proceed any further down this line of investigation. Uh, they're, so, uh, they're so easy to cut and put together. I actually did another one and stained it. And I'm not happy with that. I don't like staining in grain. But I just kind of playing around. Had plenty of extra material and they're quick and easy to cut. And sometimes you get experience and learn more about it as you go. And get ideas. But uh, again, this might even be better if I dropped another ring off of it. It'd be a little a shallow little bowl. 
but it may be even more normal looking, I guess, maybe. But uh, that's as far as I'm going to go, uh, I think, with this line of investigation. Uh, unless you want to see more, you know, let me know what you think about these weird looking things in the comments if you'd like to see more exploration of this. But I've got some other ideas. Uh, I've had real good luck with Texas themed stuff. I live here. Uh, our little town is kind of a tourist center because we have some, some events here that attracts tourists. I've uh, got a, got a state-owned train that runs between here and a nearby town that's a tourist. Uh, it's not state-owned, but state sponsors it, helps keep it going. It's an old steam engine train line, runs between here and a, a town about 35 miles away, so we get tourists from that. And this Texas-themed stuff sells well if you have a place to set it out. And I've got it in my consignment shop, and almost everything in Texas I put down there has sold. So that's kind of what I'm experimenting with here. Yeah, but I got some other ideas. Uh, I'm going to make another Texas box just to put down there. And I'm always trying to think of new ways to do that, or different ways to do that. But if you'd like to see more of this along this line of investigation, say so in the comments. Uh, these are easy to make. And I'm just using cheap construction uh, lumber. If I, if I found one I really liked, I might get some good some walnut or or mahogany or something, make a really nice looking little bowl. But I'm not sure they're ever really going to look really nice. It's kind of an odd thing. It's just an idea I had messing around an ink scrape, so I put it together and printed it out and tried to make it real. So anyway, if you like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And let me know if you'd like to see more on this line of exploration. Now, otherwise, I'm probably going to stop this this right here. The only other thing I might do is, like I say, drop one more ring off of that to see what it looked like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.